I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this look. But first I want to talk about the eyeshadows that I received from Raving Beauty Cosmetics for the month of September. So as most of you know, if you've been following me on YouTube or whatever for a while, I'm sponsored by Raving Beauty Cosmetics and I received um, a certain amount of eyeshadows every month um, to review and do a tutorial on. And this month I picked out Organic Fields, which is kind of like a really pretty jungle green color. It's shimmery. And I used this in the on the outer lid a little bit into the crease. I also got um, Minted Lemon, which is a really pretty kind of golden lime green color, and it's shimmery. And I used this on the inner half of the eyelid. And then the other color that I got was Lemongrass, and this is a really pretty yellow green color. It's shimmery as well. I used this on the inner tear duct. And then the last color that I received this month was Artesian, which is a matte medium brown eyeshadow, and I used this just above the crease to um, define it and warm it up and also to help blend out the colors. If you want to see a more detailed review on these eyeshadows as well as swatches, they will be on my blog. The link will be below. These eyeshadows are really pigmented, but you'll be able to see with the tutorial and if you look at the swatches. They're really easy to blend and I'm not one that likes a lot of shimmer, but I really like these colors because it's not like overpowering you know it's not like full-on glitter it's more just a shimmery look and it has really fine glitters in it so if you want to know how to do this look oh I also added a purple from Stila right underneath here like this look was created in the intention to make brown eyes pop um, greens and purples definitely look good on brown eyes so if you have brown eyes definitely try this look out. Let me know if it works for you. Let me know if your brown eyes popped a little bit more. Let me stop rambling because y'all just want to see the tutorial. Check out the uh, description bar below for a list of products that I used on the rest of the face because I just show you how to do the eyes, okay? So I love you and stay tuned if you want to know how to get this look. Bye. I've already primed my eyes with Urban Decay Primer Potion and I also put on concealer prior to that just to make sure that my eyelid was one uniform color because my eyelids are a little bit darker. If you don't have hyperpigmentation on your eyelids, you can skip that step. Just do a primer to make sure that your eyeshadows are going to last all day and that they don't crease because that's not a cute look. So the first base we're going to use today is Matte's Black Track Fluid Line, which is just a black base. Use whatever black cream eyeshadow you have. And use this with a synthetic brush because it's going to... Um, Grip it better and make it able to um, blend into your eyelid a little bit better than a, you know, animal hair bristle brush would do. So we're going to put this all over the eyelid. I'm going to blend it with my finger just a little bit. And then we're going to sweep this into the crease just a bit. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of black eyeliner on my waterline. And this is Max Feline Eye Cool. I'm going to put this on my upper waterline as well. So the first color I'm going to be using is um, Raving Beauty Cosmetics lemongrass eyeshadow which is a yellowy kind of shimmery green color I'm gonna put this on the inner tear duct as well as right below color I'm going to be using is Minted Lemon, which is a really pretty kind of golden lime green color. It's more on the lime green side. And this color is going to go on the inner half of the eyelid, not touching where we put the color in the tear duct. Just make sure you blend those two colors together. color we're going to 
be applying to the eyelid is called Organic Fields and it's a very pretty kind of jungle green color and it's shimmery. Place this on the outer half of the lid and you're also going to put this into the crease where that black is. Just turn your brush over and sweep it into the crease. The next color that I'm going to use is called Artesian and it's by Raving Beauty Cosmetics as well. And it's a medium brown eyeshadow. It's very warm toned which is really going to warm up um, your brow bone. So place this right above where you put organic fields, which is this color right here, and sweep it downward just to warm up that whole area and blend the color out so it's not so harsh. Go ahead and apply your um, highlight of choice and just use a color that's a little bit lighter than your skin tone. I'm going to be using Matt's Arena eyeshadow. Um, use a matte eyeshadow because we've been using a lot of shimmer and you don't want your eyelid to be full of shimmer because that's not attractive. But hey, if that's your thing, do it. We're going to apply a matte black eyeshadow. This is Carbon by Raving Beauty Cosmetics. And put this into the crease in the outer V area. And this is going to deepen up that green and make it look even darker in this outer corner. So it adds a little bit more dimension to the look. The last color that I'm going to be using today is a vibrant purple. It's from this Barbie Love Stila palette. It's limited edition, so um, just use whatever vibrant purple you have because purple is going to really make brown eyes pop as well as these green colors that we use. So we're going to place this right underneath the lash line. and. Blend it into the eyeliner a bit just to make it a little bit more smoky down there. Okay, we're going to do wing liner. I'm going to use the L'Oreal Liner Intense Liquid Eyeliner. And you can be expecting a winged eyeliner tutorial from me within the next uh, week or so. It's going to be my next back to basics video. Okay, now that that's complete, I'm going to go ahead and apply my lashes, mascara, and I'll be right back, guys. Okay, so I finished this. I applied mascara. I use the Maybelline Falsies Mascara. A review will be coming on this. I'm going to just do an overview on all the mascaras that I currently own. Um, so check that out. Be on the lookout for that. And I use just false lashes that I got from my local beauty supply store. They're the ones in this little um, container, this blue or black container. And they're number five, 523s. So for the rest of my face, I did like coral, orangey kind of look. My cheek is orange. I use sugar pills, eyeshadow, and flame point. And then for my lips, I used a L'Oreal Color Juice um, lip gloss in peaches and cream and it's like a really pretty corally orange color because green is very complementary to orange so those two colors go well together and they also look really good if you have tanned to dark skin um all the products that i use will be listed below so i hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and i'll talk to you lovely ladies dolls and gents later bye